In this video, I'm gonna walk through some of the main differences between Microsoft Clarity as a visitor behavior analytics platform compared to some of the other paid platforms like Hotjar, Lucky Orange, and where and when you might want to consider Microsoft Clarity over some of the competitors. So let's dive straight into it. Firstly, in terms of the actual feature set here, this really is going to depend on the use case that you're using any of these platforms for. So in terms of the core functionality, like session recording and heat mapping, so to be able to see where people are clicking on your site, where people are scrolling to on a certain page, and those kind of fundamental visitor behavior analytics, you will be able to see all of that on Microsoft Clarity. And one of the very compelling things about Clarity in particular is that it's completely free and you can track unlimited visitors. So as you probably know, if you've looked at any of these platforms in the past, things like Hotjar, things like Lucky Orange, you, not only do you have to pay for the platforms, but it works on a sliding scale depending on the amount of traffic you're getting to your site. So naturally, Microsoft Clarity can be a very, very compelling proposition just based on that alone because it's going to allow you to get much more data and you can do it completely free of charge. I've used pretty much most of the platforms out there. We've worked with a lot of different clients on CRO projects and seen all sorts of different visitor behavior analysis tools. In terms of the heat mapping and the session recording functionality, they all work in pretty much the same way. There are a few benefits of some of the paid platforms that you don't get on Microsoft Clarity. To give you some examples, platforms like Hotjar, you do have features like feedback and surveys where, for example, in the feedback section, you can ask people um, ha, you know, to rate the site or how their experience was using the site. So it's quite good at, if you do have a lot of visitors coming to the site, just getting some more qualitative insights as to, you know, what's maybe frustrating people, how their experience was overall. You can also run more detailed surveys where you can ask people very specific questions questions and certain pages or certain points of the user journey. So that can be really useful. Another thing that a lot of people seem to love, which is on the paid plans, is the funnel overview. So you can build out funnel steps and see where the core areas of drop off are in your user journey. As of right now, these features aren't available in Microsoft Clarity. However, it is worth saying for things like funnel views, you can actually now very easily create these funnel views within um, the explorations and reports section of GA4, where you can build out funnel explorations and you can kind of build in the same way. You can build the steps in your customer journey out in exactly the same way. You can see where people are dropping off. You can break this down by traffic source, by device. So actually you can get more granular insights from GA4 in a funnel view than you'd be able to get in any of those visitor behavior analytics tools anyway. The other instance where people might want to consider platforms like Hotjar and Lucky Orange, where you require some very specific integration. So maybe you have it integrated into your CRM in a way that in a in a way whereby maybe you've got an app, let's say, and you want to flag certain support tickets or user issues to your um, customer service team, and maybe you use um, HubSpot's operation suite to do that, right? So maybe you need a native integration with HubSpot. There's also a lot more kind of um, enhanced team functionality you can get around like tagging and highlighting certain issues in platforms like Lucky Orange and Hotjar that you can't currently do in Microsoft Clarity. So again, this really just depends on the use cases. If you have very specific uses where you need certain integrations, you need to raise things with your team, or you want to run more kind of surveys and those qualitative data insights on your website, um, you might want to look at one of the paid platforms. 
If, however, you just want to get started looking and getting a better understanding of where are you losing people on your website, looking at some of the heat maps on your site, looking at some of the session recordings to understand where there may be bottlenecks, looking at some of the scroll maps on your site so you can start to understand how far are people getting down the page before they click off and then what might you need to optimize. Microsoft Clarity is a great place to start for that because, again, it's free and you're going to get unlimited sessions. Most people, most companies I see when they've got Hotjar accounts, they've got like your Orange accounts, Plurdy, whatever tool you're using, they normally don't have the maximum traffic coverage, meaning you're just limiting the amount of data you get. And the reason they don't do that is because they can get very expensive. So again, it's really going to come down to why you're looking to use this kind of platform and then deciding from there which platform is going to be the best for you. So I really, really hope that video has helped. If you do have any specific questions about what platforms might be best for you, feel free, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And in the next video coming up, I'm going to be going through some of the fundamental things you'll want to look at if you're trying to optimize the conversion rate on your website. So I'll see you there.